Here we have our middle school practice field that we're gonna show you how to paint with just aerosol cans and paint sticks. And this is how this field was painted. You can learn how to paint these fields in about an hour once you get it down with minimal tools and minimal equipment. As you can see, this field is really wet. We've had a wet May and June, and it is mowed by a, a contractor at supersonic speeds. So the condition of this, this turf is not optimal, but we still have to paint it nevertheless. Here we have two 400 foot tapes, two 300 foot tapes, screwdrivers, string, a cable, and two paint sticks, along with a case and a half of our Pioneer Max athletic field paint. Okay, we're gonna run along this fence for our 360 length. Okay, we're gonna put our first pin in. We're gonna pin two tapes together. Now we're doing the full run of 360 feet or 120 yards. As you can see, we have our tape measure super straight at 360 feet. Okay, we are squaring up our field using the 345. We're gonna put one stake at 40 feet and go to the other tape 50 feet on our long line to 30 feet on our short line we have 30 and 50 now we'll run this tape out to 160 And we'll set a pin and run our other 400 foot tape to 360. Here's how you figure out squaring up your corner, utilizing the tapes that you've already have laid out for your layout. The 345 or 30, 40, 50 shown on the diagram. We have one corner complete. We have our width. Now we're doing our other side of our length. Okay, I'm on the other side. I'm gonna bring 160 over to my guy over there. And we'll have a square 160 by 360, all in tapes. Okay, we have our final corner 360 by 160 on the outside of the tapes the full perimeter of our football field using a paint stick and a can of max after the guy who paints the line is far ahead of me I will start marking the marks for the yard lines and goal lines starting at 30 feet. And then every 15 feet after that, leaving a space because the yard lines do not touch the sidelines. Last goal line on the one side, 330. And that'll take us to 360 to our corner. Now we're gonna find our hash marks, which are gonna be 53, 
foot four inches. 53 foot four. And we'll put those to the outside, the small mark. And then our other mark will be 106 feet eight inches. Oh, went too far. 106, eight. Pull our pins and roll up our tapes. Now we're gonna start running our yard lines going across with a string. And we will lay out our cans of paint along the one sideline, all ready to go, so we don't have to stop. My partner's coming at me and I go the other way and every time we cross the field we are painting. This way the field gets two coats on each line in one move. Here we have the double coat, and then we stop. It's always good to carry a full can in your free hand, so when you run out of paint halfway through a line, you don't have to stop and get another can. So always carry a full can with you, and you never have to stop. They do not connect. But on the goal line, which we're doing our last goal line right here, we are gonna to wanna to connect that line to the sideline. This is the sideline, and this is the goal line. Never wasting movement. Ryan is taking the string. We're gonna go end to end. For this movement, you will need at least the 375 foot string. And both, both sides have to give a hand to get it, get it nice and straight. We have it straight and we'll cross our lines, our yard lines with our hash marks because every practice field has to have hash marks. Of course, there's no hash mark on the goal line, which they use as a warm up area here. You can see it's wore out, but we don't put hash marks on the goal line, but every yard line, every five yards, and we'll just do a small, a little over a foot hash. This is not a game field, but a practice field. Here we are on the other side of our football field at our 53 foot 4 inch mark or 106 foot 8 inch mark and we're going to run this string nice and straight and do our last set of hash marks. <laughs> 